welcome back to the. I uh, welcome back to the. Uh, I welcome back to the. I uh, welcome back to the. I uh, welcome back to the. Oh! Okay. Welcome back to the English Broadcast. That was a very uh, Russian oh. Uber driver type beat. Dude, it's so much easier to do without the mask, too. Yeah? Well, yeah, the viewers the won't, is... won't even know that you don't have a mask on today because... <clears> this is yeah, this is actually how my face just looks. Yeah. He tried to do a face reveal today, but is now... His head just yeah, doing just, that. Yeah, his I, camera just does a, not work. Just a blob. Just yeah, a blob. It's okay, actually, it didn't work. Blob. We blob also have a, a guest today. For we do! The, non, the non-visual uh, listener people. <laughs> we have... I don't think we needed that. We have Sorry, Nick. I, Nor- I, I appreciated it. Just <laughs> we have Nick Nocturnal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 baby. Yeah, thanks for having you me. You do play guitar. Nah, 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 nah. I do you do play that. Play the guitar. React to react to the metal music. It's mainly music react. dumbass faces. Um, yeah. That's that's yeah, kind of it. True. The guitar is it just sits there and gets mad at me. That's <clears> all it does now, man. Hey, you're actually a pretty good guitar. I, I watched your playthrough of uh, To the Hellfire, and like the, I was surprised when you did the solo like perfectly. Oh, like, thanks, hell. man. Yeah, it's uh, it, it, it took some editing. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we did it. We did it. Yeah, us those, bedroom yeah. musicians, you know how it be. Oh, dude, yeah. those are fun. Yeah, that's that song's hard. All the Lorna Shore stuff is just is very it's very technical. Adam is a great guitarist, and I know he's a very proud dude as well. I've talked with him a bit. He's a cool dude. Um, but he, I learned after that video that you need to downpick that from from him indirectly. So um, yeah, I don't think oh, he was really? as happy with it as as I was. Um, yeah. But I'm, I'm glad you you enjoyed the solo. Yeah, no, it was, it was wait. He downpicks the whole solo. Uh, not the solo, but the whole the, all the riffs. Which oh. I'm, I'm like, bro, why at <laughs> that say, point do you hate your the arm? Solo. Down picking yeah. the one solo from Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> Just sweet picking all down picks. Yeah. Like, no, that's, that's not happening. That's, yeah, that's like that's carpal tunnel speed run. <laughs> yeah. Arthritis. Maybe, maybe yeah. he's just like a really like heavily influenced by James Hetfield. Yes. Yes, I mean, uh, lo- like Lorna Shore stuff. I like, I, I always say, like jokingly, it's just in flames sped up two hundred and fifty percent, kind of, <laughs> um, like because it's all like melodic death metal riffs, really, really fast, and then there's breakdowns and all that shit, and then Will summons the entire zoo um, to yeah, come join. True, yeah. that guy is just built. Di- Have you seen the video <clears throat> of like they stick a camera down his throat? It's and they make him do vocal. Yeah. yeah, you see his yeah. little thrussy going crazy. It's thrussy. Wild. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't yeah, get that video. Good that video turned me on. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I unlocked a new fetish that day. Yeah, no, yeah. it's just a moist, cavernous area making frightening noises. It was, it was pretty, uh, it was pretty intense. But yeah, no, it's fucking wild what that guy can do with his throat muscles. Yeah, it's 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 creepy when you see it do its thing in the throat. You're like, that's yeah. that, that's some alien shit. Like, I shouldn't that, sh- that shouldn't mm-hmm. be happening right there, man. I think the spit is what threw me off the most. There is just like. <laughs> Yeah. So much pooling up there and you just see it bubbling. It's like I know that feels like he's like swishing Listerine down there. I like that's gotta feel oh. weird, right? Like <laughs> I can't feel good, but Well you gotta be moist, man. Vocals all for the sake moist. of sounding good. Hmm. I I am not comfortable right now, fellas. I'm gonna be honest. I'm trying to you know keep what's my funny? arms. We, so we're, because you're we're holding like, a crab? We're five no, minutes in this get, podcast yeah, and crab. nobody has talked about the, the crab looks pretty heavy. Talked about what's going on here. What? Wait, what what's, going what's going on? What's going on? Here? <laughs> what I, I gotta hold about? this pose so I match up with the nice fisherman the whole time, and I'm already, I've done it too wide on accident, and now I feel like it's too late to go back. I just Soup. figured I'd go out on my farm today. <laughs> yeah, Soup's just in his backyard. Monkey yeah. centaur. What are you holding? It's like a his uh, scepter. You piece of yeah. shit. Green spear. <laughs> it's my cattle pegger. <laughs> you what? <laughs> My yeah, cattle I pegger. I just noticed pegger? an alien on the bar. Did you get that at Walmart? Was that yeah. new? Is that a new addition? Yeah, he had he had that after. Yeah. He he yeah, was yeah, trying yeah. to figure out a way to rotate that guy, but he's he kind of doing it. He just flew in from Algotha. <laughs> and then Dave Grohl is just like on the horizon for some reason. <laughs> he's just creeping over the edge of the earth. <laughs> you don't have a Dave Grohl peeking out of your backyard in the distance? <laughs> he's always on the horizon, staring. <laughs> Dave Grohl is actually only half of a man. He doesn't have a bottom half, so... <laughs> Well, same here. Funny looking little guy. My bottom half is <laughs> uh, Doge. That's not a Doge. No, it's not. It's that's, Doge do not have haunts. hoof. Some of them do. I've never met a dog with hooves. 
Well, you ain't experimenting enough in your backyard. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Crossbreed more, buddy. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm gonna do any of that. Dude's is just bad. At least me and Sue put a little yeah. bit of effort in. Dude's just like poorly I, matched to a gorilla. You mean I don't look like this dude? <laughs> Wait, Hold on, try to thing. like slouch less. Like move up a little bit, tuck your arms in a little. <clears throat> For the audio viewers, dude is becoming gorilla. Like uh, they're called audio line. listeners, Blarg. What did I? What Come did on I? Now. What did I there call them? There you go. Audio viewers? Are they like sitting like there looking at me? The they're looking at Braille. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, do you yeah, totally I match I everything? I can't hold that position. No. For all the Braille <laughs> listeners, they're behind you. They are behind you right <laughs> the now. The Braille listeners. <laughs> you were wrong for that. <laughs> that was oh, that was really man. fucking stupid. Anyway, we should probably ask our guest questions because I feel like everyone always gets mad at us when we have a guest on and then just like talk about bullshit. Don't, yeah, yeah, don't do anything specific to ask. That's the best part of the, of the podcast, though. Is, it's is, yeah. it's, it's, it's talk about shit a day? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Why do we always gotta go What's with shit? daily we... poop levels? Because we all shit. I, it all used to be yeah. bad, bro. Um, like, it used to be like, a lot or a little? <laughs> like, a, a lot, and it wasn't, it was, it was, it was wild. Oh, it was like, it's not a good time. Slush. Not regular? It, it wasn't <laughs> used to have Unpredictable IBS. shit? Uh, it was like oil. Ba it, it, oil would, would be a compliment, to be honest. <laughs> oil? Um, for Damn. It, it used to not grease. be the best, because I just, I would just eat whatever the fuck. I didn't know I was, this is a thick yeah. problem. I like ice cream. I didn't know I was allergic to ice cream for, like, ever. Um, oh, yeah, that's a problem, huh? <laughs> so, what? I would fucking eat ice cream, and it's just, it's, oh, it's no. a war zone in there after. And I'm like, ah, it's just because. <laughs> Like I didn't question just it because really. you've never questioned it. You've never found like a, a no. correlation between ice cream time and violent shit. You're like, time. God damn, I'm shitting my fucking <laughs> brains out everywhere. It could not be the ice cream I just I ate. I don't know why. I, I genuinely didn't find a correlation. And then Anything I realized, that. like, after I didn't eat ice cream a lot, I was like, I wow, I'm like, this is what a normal poo looks like. Okay. Is it is it just ice cream or are you like lactose sensitive or lactose intolerant or whatever it is? Ice cream for sure because I think I'm low like very minorly allergic to both sugar and some dairy and when it's sugar mixed, yeah when that's it's mixed, you allergic to sugar that, your body needs that, that. That's a yeah, well, like processed sorry. sugar and shit like that. Right? Okay, oh, yeah, right. yeah. Oh, that's not bad. not like I, I can eat like a like a fruit and not like go to the hospital. Yeah. What about like syrup? Can you have syrup? What if it's syrup? <laughs> I, I can have God. I can have syrup. Yes. Yeah. Can you eat Dare, dare, dare bud. No. Maple syrup, especially. Yeah. If you Bro. eat if you eat a hundred percent organic uh, maple syrup, it's maybe, not maybe, like maybe. no. Yeah. I don't fine. think it's processed sugar. It's, so just tree sap right fine. out of the fucking yeah. Nap? Pretty much. Yeah. My shits are normal now, though. How about you guys? <laughs> That's good. Great. Fantastic. Uh, I don't think Nothing I've ever had a normal one. My turds are awesome <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> McNasty, you kind of give me the vibe of like somebody who would have like 300 small pellets fall out of them. As <laughs> he takes ghost shits. Like, this dude shit I like couldn't finish that without like giggling a little bit at the like, end. I can't imagine like an it's actual. This sounds like a paintball gun going <laughs> <Yeah>. off. <laughs> Every time you've come back from shitting, you've been like, man, that was brutal. Like, it seems like you fight. Like, there is like, <clears throat> like the, the, the tile of where your toilet is. I feel like there's this. Permanent like toe marks from you gripping the floor while fighting. <laughs> Monkey fisting the ground. It's like those. Do you ever see those like compilations of things where it's like they've worn out over just so many years? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Like, <laughs> I've seen that with my own eyes. Well, what do you mean? Like, like, a, like, a, like a grocery like store will just be worn out. Uh, a oh. smooth rock, a, like Walmart <laughs> yeah. sticker. You ever seen like... erosion before? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Yeah. You ever seen something decay something in real time? <laughs> what is this compilation? What do you mean? There's like a 15 minute video of like stepped on Walmart stickers or like a half what? degraded bag. Like what, what do you mean? What the hell are you spending your time <laughs> watching, bro? I don't know. TikTok is a wild place, okay? All right. Fuck TikTok. That's dude. actually a thing then? You're not yeah. you're not memeing? That's like an no, actual no. thing you've seen. There's like so there's like these like uh these like carved out like m m uh metal or stone like I don't know something like, like it's paintings? in like Europe, yeah, and it'll be like a dog, <laughs> and the dog area is super worn out because people are actually petting the, the dog. The dog is worn out. <laughs> yeah, worn out on his dog. Many, how many pets does it take to kill your dog? Just turn him into <laughs> nothingness. How many pets to get you atomize your dog. dog one pet at a time? Pet smart. Atomize. It's like what? the video of that guy cooking the chicken breast by slapping it. Yeah. Remember, you can That's what's yeah. yeah, you could, yeah. You could yeah. cook an animal like that, probably. If you got a dog to sit still long enough, you could probably cook a dog by slapping it enough. 
I probably wouldn't recommend it. I'd like to like, try it. I feel like oven roasted would probably be a lot more efficient. Air fried dog probably goes kind of hard. Put some garlic parm on it. I saw a video the other day of somebody Where just tossed coming? a live cat on a grill and it just cooked it. What? what the not, was that TikTok? I'm not sure that yeah, was yeah. that also on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, it Something did the thing where it like, on Facebook. it like skipped ahead <laughs> like a few times and then it was just a, like a crispy burnt cat at the end. And it had all the hair <laughs> on it too. this video where grandma dies. Why did nobody, that? What the <laughs> fuck? There Why is some fucked up shit on TikTok. Was there lore? Was there lore? Or they just <clears throat> no, no, literally found just, a cat I mean, and thought, let's grill this thing. It was did definitely taken in, in like a third first? world country or something. You could tell, but uh, yeah, they just, boom, they just tossed a cat what on. What were the things that you could tell that it was a third world country? With? Yeah, were they not yeah, throwing like it on like that. a black stone? <laughs> like a yeah, it wasn't on a big old foreman. Nice big smoker. A pellet grill. I'm going to put some apple wood pellets in here for this cat. It was three sticks over an open fire. Put the Wi Fi wearing, thermometer in it. They were, they were right wearing in. cut up tires as flip flops. No, it was definitely like a floor, a floor fire. <laughs> a floor fire. It was like a dirt, dirt pile of fire. I don't know. We've all been to those kind of parties. Floor <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, I'm having a dirt floor fire if you guys want to come over tonight. Yeah. Hang out, party cook a at cat, the homeless baby. shelter tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we moved on from Bring lighting little metal swap. barrels. <laughs> Bring your cat Bring from your home. Cat. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna cook the cat from home. There was a question oh in here at some point, wasn't there? Pooping. Oh, yeah. what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, hell yeah. So you uh, just stopped <laughs> eating ice cream and now your poops are just like good? Yeah, pretty chill. What if I fed you a brick of cheese? What would happen? Dude, okay. Would you be okay? I, I fucking, so... I didn't need a brick, but you you know like a, a general grocery size bag, like yeah. five hundred yeah. grams of cheese. Yeah. yeah. I did a stream with Aaron Matz, who was in Betraying the Martyrs before, fucking okay. um where I lost a bet with Twitch chat and you guys know how that fucking yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. the life. And yeah. uh, I had to eat that live without mentioning oh. it. Just the entire stream. I had to eat the whole bag. <laughs> oh um, nice. that I uh, my 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 toilet was not normal for all. Oh, a you'd week. be fighting. I was fighting God. for my life, so I'd assume a whole brick would absolutely destroy me. Yeah. Oh yeah. It, I had a I had a friend when I was like fifteen or sixteen, and he came over and slept at my house, and he took a whole like bag of that. It wasn't full, but he took a bag of it, put it in a bowl, and microwaved it, and then ate it with a fork. <laughs> it was the most fucking the fuck? putrid thing I've That's ever so seen. Vile. Was he on keto? <laughs> that seems like a keto thing people do. That is not keto. keto. That is yeah. like, bro. I'm healthy. I'm losing weight. Mm, Fuck off. Microwaving. <laughs> Eat a bag of cheese. <laughs> he microwaved it so that the edge of it was like crispy, and then the rest was just melted oh. fucking cheese. Crispy and cheese goes it. hard though. It, but yeah, yeah, but like in a, in moderation, like with a little <clears throat> bit of nachos or something. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm down. Or like on a uh, you know on a grilled cheese when you get the little crispy cheese on the side. Yeah, count me in. But a fucking bowl of it. I, I was just bewildered. It's funny I how you say, just take away one ingredient and all of a sudden it becomes really weird. Yeah, yeah I know. Like grilled cheese, if you get rid of the bread, it's just fucking weird. Just maybe like, he you was have, like, like expecting to eat it with nachos, but then was like, oh, fuck, he doesn't have nachos and felt dude, guilty not finishing the cheese. He, he it's like eating cereal or, without the milk. No. Cereal no, without milk like, is still it's, fucking. Yeah. It's, it's like yeah, eating the good. milk. Yeah, it's, good. Yeah. it's like eating it's, the milk without the cereal. It's also funny that like if you just... If you eat yeah. some shredded cheese like just out of the bag, it's like uh, who cares? But then if you melt it in a bowl, it's like what is wrong? Well, with it you? was a, it was Am it I wasn't an animal? it wasn't that he did a little bit because like yeah, I guess cheese is good. I personally wouldn't have that as a snack, but yeah. it was like the fact that the bowl was like <clears throat> half full and they were like this deep. <laughs> weird. Like it was it was a, it was a significant almost all of it. There was a little bit oh. left that like hardened on the bottom because it was sitting there too long. Damn. And like he did hot sauce on he, it. He didn't ask for no. No, he didn't ask for nachos. He didn't ask for anything. He literally just did it. I didn't stop him. I thought I'm gonna let him cook. I'm gonna see what comes up here because I thought surely he's gonna do something after microwaving the cheese, and he he didn't. He didn't do that. Maybe he was like, off guess, though. Yeah. and just expecting you to like eventually be like the host and be like, "Do you want some chips with that?" And then it just well, became too awkward to ask. He, we were like, <laughs> some chips with that. we were like that friends not... enough where like he could have been like, "Hey, dude, can I?" Have... And like you're 15, 16, and like. My parents weren't home, so you got, like, no shame at that age a lot of the time, especially when nobody's parents around. So you just, like, yeah. they'll just rummage their shit. Like, he yeah. all, he's eating weird shit in my house. Like, a completely separate time, but he had uh, a little little plate with peanut butter on it, and then he put a little bit of milk on it, like, mixed it with a fork and ate it, like, did that. And I was like, 
It's mm. sure, man. Does he have yeah, food this at guy. All? <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know what's going on in his house. I imagine there's some sort of mental abuse for him to think those are okay meals. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Weird little guy. I haven't seen him in a while. He might be dead. He might have ate an airplane <laughs> or something and just like yeah. <laughs> and cons- <laughs> gave but up. But melted in the microwave first. Yeah, melted it in the sure. microwave. Drink a glass of like lamp liquid. <laughs> what is lamp liquid? <laughs> shotgun to lava lamp. One day. <laughs> wait, you mean like? Wait, did you mean lava lamp or d- do you just no, have like a lamp, liquid? Lamp liquid. Lamp liquid. What like the lamp fuck? Oil? Kerosene. We live in the oh, fucking lamp oil. Okay. Well, yeah, I didn't think yeah. we were in 1804. I thought <laughs> yeah. the fuck lamp oil. Lamp oil. Rope bombs. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you say that part? <laughs> Why'd you include that? There goes the demonetization. <laughs> <laughs> is, that like, is that like your grocery list or what? Yeah. <laughs> Just bombs. My oh, prospecting God. grocery <clears throat> list. It's definitely got to taste better than gamer subs. Am I right, boys? Nope. Yeah, no use code way. Goons. Use code use goons. Use code goons. There we go. Sorry, we got to contractually put that in. Code goon. <laughs> yeah, if we don't say our sponsor, Nick, they actually have threatened to take our life. You want me yeah, to the, help? The, yeah. the reason yeah, you don't, soup... What's the what's the what's I the mean they might pre-roll? kill you they might try and assassinate you if you don't say something about uh, it. What's the <laughs> what's it called subs? C- gamer Goons subs. G- G- go buy subs. some gamer subs for when you're gaming. Yep. Yeah, there, there you go. It won't D- kill you. It pro- you finger. probably won't die. It's better than a bowl of cheese. <laughs> it will probably kill you, but <laughs> that's okay. I don't know about the that. Reason, one. <laughs> the reason soup is cropped is because they are holding a gun to his head just outside yeah. of frame. Hmm. Yeah. There's like As 15 usual. guys in all black suits over here. <laughs> aiming They're just sitting in your truck, just waiting for you to <laughs> slip up. Uh, oh anyway, God. Nick, hmm. I meant to ask you. I thought of a question earlier because I prepared. Oh, <clears throat> pussy. What? <laughs> I feel like there's something you should two ask. Favorite all of frets on the fretboard. Zero and <laughs> one. Gotta be sure. zero and one. Yes. Zero and one. Yes. 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 Only correct yes. answer. Fuck the other frets. <laughs> Respect. Respect. The only answer. Yeah. All right. Obviously, we know you like music. That is a, a given. Do you have anything what? like outside of uh, YouTube and like music that you like really fuck with, like a hobby or anything like that that you got going on? Used to fuck with Are ice you- cream. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know what happened there. I was really. I was really hoping ice cream is a I hobby. Just, <laughs> I was really if hoping. If you eat it enough, it can be. I was hoping like you would answer with yeah. <laughs> grilling cats and floor fires. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I'm kind of a fucking loser, so like I just don't really do much. Okay. Other than, like, like going going to work out is like relaxing. That's like my break. Um, oh yeah. Okay. And, and that's that's it. Other than that, it's like it's music, but gaming too. Like I grew up gaming way more than I did playing music. Um, but it's just music takes up so much time that I don't have time. Like I used to be able to like yeah. sit down and play a single player game. Like, that used to be a yeah. thing for me. Like, yeah, like, let's go play, you know, whatever, New Just Cause or, like, The Witcher or some shit. Um, and now it's, like, I think about that and I'm, like, I, it's, I can't. I'm There's too much anxiety of, like, I am fucking wasting my time playing yeah, this like, and yeah. I can't, work, can't enjoy work, it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's different than, like, multiplayer stuff because then you're, like, playing with the homies and it's, like, you know, like, that's it my socializing. It feels a little more productive, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I get to say I went outside that day, you know, and, and yeah. existed with <laughs> yeah. human. I interacted. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's, a, it's, it's worth it with that, but yeah, just like a single player game. I haven't played that in so long, but yeah, gaming music and ice cream. Uh, that's basically it. <laughs> what is your favorite game you've played then? Dude, I mean, this like, is important. Like there's a game I've played the most, which is wow by far. Okay. All uh, right. Uh, Reasonable. MMO Reasonable. Boy. I was, yeah. a, I was I, I'm not a big like MMO dude, but like fucking like, wow. Like that, oh, I, wow. they, they yeah. got me when I was young, bro. That's why. Um, that's how it works they that's groomed you runescape yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> runescape runescape was the first actually yeah it was um <clears throat> for me my, my cousin introduced me to runescape and then wow came out and mm-hmm. then it was fucking done but yeah wow is probably the thing i've played the most just in my lifetime but other than that i guess league as well uh oh, i really wow. got into like battle royale shit uh played PUBG a bit and was laughing because i didn't think it was a real game that they released and it's still in beta <laughs> i think um it's bad it's it's not fun and uh dude, honestly yeah, dude, dude has like 1200 hours on that fucking game so yeah i'm dude max level that. so watch your mouth buddy <laughs> <laughs> I'll fuck you up. i mean for it being like <laughs> the first of that kind it did its thing i just couldn't believe that that was, it was just game. yeah it was so broken i, dude, I can't yeah. believe they left it in that state for so long yeah. it Best- also has like three dollar like fucking uh 
Unreal Engine assets for everything. Like nothing yeah. is custom made <laughs> assets. Yeah. It's all like yeah. the ones you can buy for four dollars in the shop. It's like somebody made it in like a G mod, like yeah, you know, literally. Map. I always thought H one Z one was better personally. Yeah, I I, I, I still think that. it was. That game yeah, was that great. Game, I never played that. H one Z one was pretty sick. I think played yeah. Daisy. Ooh. Daisy was weird. I played Daisy. Daisy for like an hour. I didn't know what was happening. I was running down some train tracks. Two guys came up to me with guns. They made me take all my clothes off. They handcuffed me and then fed me food. It was very weird. <laughs> Are you sure that wasn't like IRL? I, I'm trying to suppress where it came from, but I'm going to tell myself <laughs> it was Daisy. Yeah. Daisy yeah. was the first game that ever made me want to get a computer. I thought it looked fucking sick. Yeah, <clears throat> I liked watching it and like... I feel like I've watched like a million people play DayZ, and then when I actually went to play it, I was like, I've been running for 40 minutes. Yeah. And then I just died. And they, they That's how it was for PUBG for me. And then shot me. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, PUBG was kind of like that when I first, because I would like watch YouTubers that were famous with PUBG, and then I would get on it and just land somewhere like remote, run for 50 minutes, and then die to the first person I see. <laughs> yeah, just get yeah. shot randomly in a field and shit yourself. <clears throat> yeah. That's, I, that's yeah. why I liked out of old, but like Warzone, I think I had the most fun, at least when it came out initially, because you could like res and, you know, it just felt less dumb. Yeah. Um, and yeah. then all the hackers. Yeah, sweaty. Everything's quicker, too. Like the matches aren't as long. Yeah. Like, no. Like PUBG yeah, matches not. feel like they go on for hours. Dude, they go for like. Yeah, it's like 45 minutes. It feels minutes. like 40 minutes. Yeah, I was going to say, it yeah, feels yeah. like 40 minutes. And it's just like, if you're running for 35 of that and you're feeling good, and then some guy that's all gillied up in a bush just. Pops you in the head. Yeah. It's like, well, that's that full of hackers too. fucking ways. Yeah, you, you, it is. It, it's hackers and it's bots. So if you do find a real person, you're kind of screwed anyway. So yeah, and the people you do kill are literally just fucking AI. They're not yep. even people. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Good times. Fuck yeah. So what's your favorite game then, Nick? If WoW is what you've just played mostly, oh, but it's not oh, your favorite. Um, I guess you just fuck in terms of. You have like an all time like 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 me and dudes are like Ocarina of Time. Okay, yeah, like OG, like that kind of Sonic stuff. Adventure Two Battle. Oh, okay. okay. Hell yes. <laughs> yeah, Sonic. Big. Dude, the soundtrack on that, God tier, still goes, to this yeah, day. Yeah, it goes hard. Is yeah, that the one we played on Goons Gaming? Uh, I, let, let me think. Because I, I, I get that though. one. I think I get that one confused with Sonic Heroes in my head. That game is also pretty. Sonic Heroes good. is. But not Sonic the one Heroes was really. Sonic I didn't. Kid. I didn't we grow played, up with Sonic Kid. We played know. that, the one you're talking about on Goons Game. Yes, yeah. that yeah, the one where you can choose like Hero or Dark. Yeah, I always get well, that one in Sonic Escape. Heroes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah Sid, I get that one. The one yeah. Yeah. that one. That one's so sick, good. and the soundtrack is wildly good. Um, still holds up with oh, yeah. whatever that band is. Crush Forty Four, Crush Forty. I fucking always confuse the it with the other band. He's called what are those posters behind you? True. Oh, um, display shit. They they really should pay oh, a lot of money. Split. It's slip newt newt, um, slip not newt, and a wolf. I'm a very basic white dude. Um, so <laughs> slip newt yeah. and a wolf. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my my. I don't know. I really need to decorate this place. It kind of. I was just gonna looks say like it's an, very like <clears throat> as do asylum yeah. vibes. It looks like a sterile hospital, um, which yeah. is not. You know. Yeah, at least it's at least it's clean white and not like dirty white. Yeah, it's just the camera, bro. That's no, just dirty there's over no there. There's no yellow. Oh. There's no yellow dinge. You got to yeah. piss on your walls a little bit. More. <laughs> <laughs> you got to break the room in, buddy. You got to <laughs> chain smoke <laughs> cigarettes in there until the walls are yellow. <laughs> yeah, I got a. Uh, well, I use. That's the thing. I just use my green screen so much now that it's like I don't even think that. Oh yeah, that's, that's true. I, like, it's not as much in focus, kind of in my background, but. That's green screen's just beautiful. You can do everything, like turn yourself into a horse or a monkey or a crab. <laughs> we wouldn't we wouldn't know anything about that. No. <laughs> I don't know Dude, what the hell you're talking about. Their soup's background is fucking ins he has a green screen and he doesn't use it and like he's in his garage <laughs> and you just see everything that's in his garage. I saw the monkey do. Everything that's in his garage. His car is like creeping closer to him every podcast too. It's it's a good vibe in Eventually there. Eventually he's gonna get ran over by the car alive. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you should just I'm move your desk from to the monoxide poisoning on. Yeah. The you podcast. did. You did start your truck during a podcast once, so that was yeah, yeah a horrible God. idea in an enclosed <laughs> enclosed garage. <clears throat> yeah, didn't See, we do the hundredth podcast? You were inside of your truck. Was that one? That one? We did yeah, yeah. Virtually, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's probably if you were more. Really cool, you'd do one under it. It's probably nicer though. It's probably more relatable when you have like a fun background instead of like you know everyone, all the fan, all the fancy YouTubers have like the super 
intense LED fucking 8K camera background, and it's like <laughs> I wish you could see my camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, and like yeah, it looks good, like but it, it just it's it loses character. It's, it's just, not relatable. Yeah, yeah it's, I, it's, I honestly can say I don't <clears> think I'll, I'll watch anybody that has shit like that. Personally, like a speaking. ninja setup. Yeah, no, I, I feel yeah, like that's I like just, I don't. Oh, watch like, like you're at a it's, rave twenty four seven. Yeah, like custom yeah. built yeah. fucking like yeah. yeah, like neon lights and shit. Like <laughs> did, did you see the video of that kid that whenever he got a kill on fucking COD or something, he he did a whole rave in his. Um, oh yeah, that was sick. Yeah, he had like the fucking propane tank like shooting fire or whatever. What? Was, yeah, I, yeah, that was sick. It's an amazing video. It's I don't know if he still yeah. streams. He should. That's he has a whole career and just fucking raving. He probably, he probably burn his fucking house down and died. I mean, yeah, if he's got a <laughs> propane tank spitting fire during a a cod match, that's kind of he wild. had pyro in his room. Had, he had yeah, actual pyro. Oh, shit, do the Metallica concert in Warzone yeah. every time he gets a kill. It was a party. He was like thirteen or something too. Yeah, he was young. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Damn. Um, I don't know streamers are doing stuff like that nowadays. Well, Blarg, did you want to talk about when you and Nick uh, met up? Because I think you brought I mean, it up yeah. one time. And you I mean, no, there wasn't gonna, too special. I was, it. Well, it wasn't I, special? I don't know. I was just. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> beef. We got beef. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Canadian oh, no, this beef. Is under me. This bro, is under me. Canadian oh, beef. 100% real dog Canadian beef. Today, the dog will be taking my <laughs> spot the rest of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I don't know. I mean, there wasn't anything that was too wild. It was a dope concert, and then uh, <clears throat> I almost knocked over the. I talked when I almost knocked over uh, the plot and use uh, their their gold records. Oh, dude! Because yeah. that was that was the night they got them there, yeah. and like I was trying to describe that green room to them. So it's like it was tiny. Yeah, you had to like duck to get down the stairs. Yeah. So you're what six? I'm like six two. Yeah. Yeah, and like. He probably had to severely duck, because even I had to duck a little bit. So, like, it was cramped as fuck, and there was all the boxes that were right up against the wall. And there was, like, right before the show, I don't know, there was probably, like, 15 people in there in this tiny little room. And they had the four boxes on the side of the wall, and I tried to move out of the way, and my foot hit one of them, and it started sliding, and then the manager ran over, and it was really embarrassing, and I was like, oh, it was really bad. But the show was dope. The show was really fucking good. I, I enjoyed it. I don't know. Yeah, <clears throat> was that your uh, was that your first time actually seeing Silent Planet? Yeah, Silent Planet. That was the first time. Um, yeah, because that's why you're there, right? You uh, you talk to Garrett a lot or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, I, I I know the plot in you, and I never talked to. That was the first time I talked to Landon, which was cool. Yeah. He seems like a nice dude. Um, yeah, and and they make dope music. But yeah, I I was mm -hmm. uh, I was always with Garrett, so uh, he was in town. I was like, yo, like come come hang. I was like, hell yeah, you know why not? Um, you know, and even especially Toronto, there's not many cases where a lot of bands come through that you like are really into, or, you know, you can just say hi to the homies. That tour was stacked though. That was crazy. Yes. That yeah, was like it a was a crazy um, good lineup. Fuck. It was plotting you, Silent Planet, Avoid? Yeah. Avoid and Cane Hill. And Cane Hill. <laughs> yeah. Which yeah, is, that uh, was like a sick. stacked lineup. Dude. Yeah. I, I yeah. did not expect to see you, I, you there. Cause I, I don't, I don't, I just don't assume anyone's Canadian. I'll, I don't know why. Well, that's why I was so confused. <laughs> that's what I was telling these guys. It's like, right when I got there, I was talking to uh Garrett and I was just like, you're just hanging out. And I was like, Oh, is anyone else like coming through? You have any other buddies in Toronto? And he's like, uh, yeah, actually there's another YouTuber. I've never had a YouTuber on my show. And now there's like two of you coming. And I was like, Oh cool. Like what's his name? And he's like, Nick. And I didn't even like think twice that mm -hmm. it would be you. Because I don't know why in my head you weren't Canadian. So it's like, oh, cool, whatever. And then I just saw you walk down the stairs and I was like, wait, that fucking Nick? No way. <laughs> Most people do not assume. I, I don't know. I'm weird as fuck. So they should assume I'm Canadian. But I don't know why. I, they I just, don't know. I'm, yeah. I don't hear enough aboot or hoose from you. I, you know, there's not enough woof. That's true. In, in my earlier videos, <laughs> I have Slavic accent because I thought it was funny because um, I'm my background Slavic. So that also yeah. confuses a bunch of Russians that have subscribed to me over the years. <laughs> they're like, what the fuck? Like, why you got really what happened to accent? Yeah, you, you got really <laughs> good at speaking English. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's just what happened. Um, yeah, you know, what's no, funny is I when I first there. when I first started doing YouTube, I, I did an, Indi an Indian accent. I would go into like CSGO mm -hmm. surf. And there was a few fans who legit thought I was Indian. And I don't know why, because my accent was terrible back then. <laughs> that is not shocking. Oh, yeah, it's really improved now. It's really spot on nowadays yeah. when you do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's really fucking <clears throat> bad. Um, yeah. But, yeah, no, that was uh, that was a dope show. What yeah. uh, What is, like, your favorite show that you've been to? Like, whether it's been metal or, like, any other band or, you know, uh, artist or whatever. It's do you have, weird. like, a favorite concert? 
It's weird because MGK. like concert experience is different for me now. Like it's not as much like go and watch. It's like you go and you you kind of hang. Research with, for a video. Yeah. Yeah. You do research for a video. Um, you go and kind of hang with the, the homies. So it's not. It, it's just yeah. weird. Um, in terms of watching Architects still when they um just after Tom passed and they did the, yeah oh they did the, um Gone with the Wind live, bro. Like. You it, you were That'd made of stone if you didn't cry watching them. Yeah, fucking that, do that that energy must have been insane. Yeah, it was. That's the craziest thing I've ever watched yeah. live. Um, I, I by far. Um, in terms of just shows, again, like, <clears> there's a lot of just hanging with the fucking band members and then being like, oh yeah, you gotta play your set. Okay, peace. And then you go fucking hang, and that's that's kind of it. And you shoot the shit and do yeah. dumb shit and. You know, so do you kind of just like watch the show from like backstage, or you just like you're awesome? Uh, I, it's one or the other. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a mosh dude. Um, uh, I, I sit either in the back, uh, really far, and, and you know, cross my arms like an asshole, or the, I, yeah, the it. angry dude in the shadows. <laughs> yeah, where I'm just like, nah, they fucked that note up. <laughs> you're like the, the chaperone. Like room, I just, hate this shit. Yes, just judging everybody. Hundred <laughs> percent. Or uh, or yeah, just kind of chill backstage and and see what's up. Which again, it's a different, it's a very different experience. Yeah. Um, which it's it's nice, like having a YouTube channel's chill, and people will come up to you and be like, "Hey, you're that fucking weirdo," and I'm like, "Yeah." Um, <laughs> but it's you know, it's if you do just want to go and watch the show, it can get a little weird <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, I went uh, I went and hung out in that the crowd after that show, and like. I'm always surprised when when you go to like a venue and just I don't know I don't know if like if you're used to it because obviously you're the music community is a lot more like tight knit and a lot more like niche especially the metal community than like gaming in general mm. but it's always so weird actually having like a significant amount of people approach you and stuff like that like I feel like if you went in that crowd after you would have got just like swarmed yeah man it, it's that's the thing it's it's nice because it's, it's like appreciate people want to say like what's up yeah and again, I'm always like yeah like what's up you, you know thanks for saying hi um but definitely it's it cause it, it can get weird when there's just you know a few people a like awkward. and then when sometimes when they're awkwardly waiting there and you're like you, you like what do i do here do i say hi do i do i let them stare really awkwardly like i don't <laughs> oh what? yeah the, the look where you can like tell they know who you are and they want to say something but they're not yeah, initiating they're staring it staring into your soul and you but, like Cut your eyes over at them a few times, and they're still just like <laughs> yeah, staring this, into your and soul. And then they'll and then they'll check their phone for a second, and, yeah. and it's like they're trying to fucking catch you, like it's a police yeah, like, sketch, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Literally. Oh my god. Like, is that the I, guy uh, who I gotta call fucking authorities? <clears throat> like, I refuse to ever be the one to approach a, a, a fan again. So I was at it. It was at I think it was Pax East. It would have been. Okay. <clears throat> um, and. Literally, we just did this fucking meetup, and I tweeted where I was going to be and stuff. You know, we had a bunch of people come. Afterwards, we were just like, okay, everyone kind of fuck off. Like, the meetup's done, whatever. And then there was this, this kid that was kind of, like, following our group around. There was probably, like, six of us. And he's kind of, like, <clears throat> I guess he wasn't even doing it intentionally, but he was, like, following where we were going. And he kept, like, looking at us. And like you said, he did the phone thing where they're just kind of, <coughs> like... <laughs> Like, they're, like, double-checking to see if it's, like, you or whatever. It looked like he was doing all of this. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to be the one to fucking say something. And I was like, hey, man. He's like, hey. I was just like, oh, like, were you, were you trying to talk to us? Like, do you want a photo or anything? And he's like, like, photo of what? And I was like, like, with us? He's like, N no. I was like, okay. <laughs> and, then, yeah, and then we just called it there, and I just walked away. And I was like, Oof. yeah, he has no Damn. idea who we are, man. He's just happened to walking in the same spot. Like, I don't know if he was looking for an Uber or, like, what the fuck was going on. But, like, literally, to the way we walked around the whole convention center so we, like, wouldn't get recognized. And he followed the whole fucking way, and he's looking at his phone, and we just came from a meetup. So, like, everything pointed to that being, mm -hmm. you know. A kid he, that recognizes us. He was probably he was a, a fucking, super fan, but he just wanted just the a, power. He wanted to keep yeah, it. Yeah, maybe he wanted the ego <laughs> me. Maybe he wanted, he wanted yeah, like... An expert stalker. <laughs> yeah, maybe he wanted like Smitty or Wildcat or one of the big boys to come say something. He just saw me walk up. I was like, I don't fucking yeah. want this guy. Did you check Twitter after? <laughs> that's that's where you got to check after. I, 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 I did not Blark check today. Twitter after. Yeah, I met Blarg. Kind of a douche in person. Thought I knew who he is. <laughs> yeah, the Reddit thread. Blarg is an asshole. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys ever actually like <laughs> egoed a fan or done something that you were like, fuck, whoopsies? No. Like a, no, like a I cannot relate to this conversation. <laughs> yeah, me either. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess you and McNasty. I think at one of my shows, I think there's been like a couple moments where like a, 
a guy and his uh, girlfriend will come up and want a photo or whatever, and she'll like take a picture of her boyfriend or whatever, and I'll be like, "You want a picture as well?" And they'll just be like, "No," <laughs> <laughs> so I just walk away awkwardly. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. but rough. see, I feel weird. Like I, I, I feel weird asking if they want a photo, but then I feel I'm like, "Well, I look like an asshole if I." Don't, don't ask that's what I'm saying. That's why so I wouldn't ask like, the guy. That weird. It's a double edged sword, basically. So I was like, yeah, he's yeah. been following us around. Surely he wants a fucking photo of something. And then he did it. He didn't even fucking know who we were. So ever since then, I refuse to be the one that's like, yeah, man, I'll, I'll go talk yeah. to this fucking kid. It's just the safest care. way to, to yeah. prevent that awkwardness from happening. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I actually wanted to fucking skin myself alive. Big have Jiggly you, Panda thought it was the funniest thing in the world, though. He have you had a time him. where there was someone look like staring at your direction and like really mm -hmm. intensely, like they're about to come to talk to you, and then you all lock eyes with them, but then they're talking to the person behind you, and then it's just like you don't know what to do with that. <laughs> yeah. Or you yeah. wave at the wrong person. They're like, yeah, I've done the wave. Behind behind that I've done mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, I just play, <laughs> I just play that off like I meant to wave at them, like I was the one that initiated it. Just like, <laughs> like yeah, no, that was me. What's up? You're the <laughs> asshole for not saying hi back. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you. Yeah, no, it was you. You're the problem, not me. I had a, an awkward moment, not with a fan, but with a, a guy in another band at my last show that I had. They were on the, they were on the bill to the first show we had at this place, and they were on the bill again uh, at our next show. And I saw him as we were bringing like our equipment in in the hallway, <coughs> and I walked, <laughs> I was walking by him, and I was like, "Yo, what's up, man?" And I I went to like give him a handshake. Uh -oh. And then he went to give me a fist bump. Oh, you did the fist bump? Yeah. And then we, no, no, we went like this or whatever. And then I switched. And uh. so then it was like this. And then we switched back again and oh, then ended up no. doing that. So it was like a, we were like doing some Naruto <laughs> shit. <one> at, that <laughs> point, <laughs> like, <laughs> at that point, you just got to grab both of his cheeks and just kiss him. Yeah. Right yeah, on the yeah, mouth. Just start eating his ass in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> As a power move, off. this will not be awkward. <laughs> I'm gonna eat your ass now. But uh, <laughs> how to break dude, the ice? And so, it, th like, we we just laughed about it. I was like, God, that was so fucking awkward. But good to see you again, man. <laughs> That's all you can then, do at that point, dude, honestly. But then, oh, after no. the show, after the show, <clears throat> we're getting all of our shit off. No And way. that guy was like, "Good show, bro." And I went to go for the fist bump because he did originally started with the fist <laughs> oh bump, my God. but then he was going for a handshake. Like, for sure time. he's going to do fist bump this we time. We did it again. Yeah, I was like, for, I was like, I know your pattern. You I know both, your rock, you paper, both scissors, tried to scissors figure pattern. each other out. And then you know yeah. what you got to do? You got to you gotta raise one hand as a fist and raise one hand as a high five and then just give use the right option. hand. Give, give him one <laughs> give of options. Options. Which one do you want? How will we greet? <laughs> Before what we do, do you this. want? <laughs> Dude, yeah. we should honestly do that. That's a great idea. Yeah. Every time we go to greet someone, which one are we doing, buddy? Just fucking give him which one, one of these, doing? just the both. And then he the goes in for a hug. Like, but yeah, I, so <laughs> we, ended up, we ended up doing it again the same night to the same guy. I, and I was like, like God damn it, dude! I was like, one of these. I was like, one of these days we're gonna get that handshake down. I would Next be time. dying <laughs> laughing at that point. I, yeah, I feel like the first one would be awkward. The second one would just be funny. It'd be hilarious. Yeah, it was just yeah. like this is sad. This is just sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had that. Uh, I had that happen with one of my buddy's best friends. is is a fan of all of us, and he has been trying to get in contact with me and like he's asked him for like my phone number and stuff which i said please don't do um but like so we see each other once in a while and i, I like he's always awkward because he is a fan like of what we do and shit so it's yeah. always like slightly weird and that happened with us and i just thought it was fucking hilarious but i could tell he like sweats about that at nighttime because we exactly like you guys where it's just like we swapped back and forth and then just like one of these, like a quick little, like, <laughs> oh my hands. God. Like, it was like, you held hands. <laughs> yeah. you interdigitated. No. Yeah, you went from what's up, bro? <laughs> how you been to prom date? Like, right there. Yeah. <laughs> like, it wasn't, we didn't like, we didn't like hold hands, like, you know, like fully locked. It was like this and God. like, just like a quick one. And I just, I thought it was fucking hilarious, but he just like didn't say a word and just like, it was so fucking uh, awkward. Yeah, it was so funny though. I thought it was funny. Like, he hasn't slept. Uh, he still thinks about yeah. that before he goes to yeah, bed at night. I, I thought it was a good time. You know, it didn't change my opinion of the guy. It was a funny little whoopsie daisy. Yeah. But, <clears throat> but yeah, you know, the thing was, is, uh, when that happens, both parties are embarrassed. Both parties are awkward about it. So it's like, you know, it's not like one person is like. It depends who it's with. Like if it's with your accountant, <laughs> yeah, that's that's fucking weird. But like yeah. a dude around our age, guy, it shouldn't yeah. be that awkward. Just like laugh about it. Yeah. But yeah, no, he probably has lost sleep over that. I just thought it was like the most funny fucking thing in the world because I kind of went for a high five after and he kind of went for one and that's when it just kind of became like a 
an interlocked finger moment, and, it's just... and that's how I met your father. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, what's your most awkward fan interaction? Do you have one that sticks oh, you, uh, that you lose sleep over that sticks in your mind? So if you gotta pronounce that K a little better, buddy. <laughs> that was, that was what? Not, you gotta pronounce that K. Nick. Yeah. It just didn't sound like Nick, that's all. I'm just Nick. We're good, man. Let's, yeah, 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 let's I, make sure we nail that down. It's yeah, if I'm tied to something that gets time. canceled, I'm glad it's with you guys tonight. Uh, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, I'm glad it was with the horse man. Yeah. <laughs> horse man, crab man, and a monkey. <laughs> um, dude, yeah, I, there's it's usually pretty like chill, like because most people are just like, hey, like, and they'll even be like, sorry, like, sorry to bother you. Like, oh, that's chill, you know. If I go to a show, I'm like more in the mindset of like being more sociable than like if you yeah. saw me at like the supermarket and I'm like in my track pants mm -hmm. and I'm like not even awake, like just being like, where the fuck is yeah. the food, bro? Um, yeah. But yeah, there's been a couple. One a few years ago where a dude just like my girlfriend was right here and this dude went the other side of my girlfriend, reached across the table to me and said, hey, are you Nick? Can you give me your number? And it was like <laughs> very yeah. fucking okay. aggressive. <laughs> and again, like this was like years back. And I was like, uh, <clears throat> okay. Like, you know, what? I guess oh, you were a fan. No. You gave him the number? No. I should, dude, yeah, it was like a long time. I, dude, oh, I don't know what to do. That's the worst. I, I no. You didn't at least give him a fake number? Nah, dude, I didn't. I was. I just got, uh, yeah, it was nine, like, I was just starting one, out. Like, that one, was like one of the first few it. interactions But I see, had. you're trying to be friendly. Like, dude, it's yeah. the worst when you're like, it, they catch you off guard. Yeah. And they just bombard you with, what's your social security number? I love you. <laughs> right. And you're like, dear your lines all fucking, yeah. yeah like, oh, God. Oh, uh, uh, one, two, three, eight, seven, four, nine, two. Like, yeah. It's, dude, it's, yeah. I, I got so many air duct cleaning calls after that. Like, I definitely, he, he sold that or something. I don't, I don't know. It was weird. Uh, that was, I think. Put it in the dark web. Yeah. I think that was, that was probably the weirdest because it was just, I didn't expect it. it oh, there was a so second bad. one where there was, uh, uh, you guys know of Shadow of Intent or Currents? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, absolutely love Chris Wiseman. He's like the, my favorite dude because like he just he, he stone face and he says exactly what's on his mind. And uh, I was at a, a, I think it was for Shadow of Intent, and there was this one person that came up. And I was talking with Chris, and he was super drunk, like mega drunk. And he was like, dude, like I'm, you know, he was telling us like, he's super like wasted. And he was just asking like, hi, hey, like really weird, basic questions. And um, you know, my, my girlfriend's Asian. And he's just like straight up like, oh, like, you, you know, you and your Asian girlfriend over there and like very much going <laughs> after the Asian part like multiple times. And I'm like, like digging that in. It's really again, it's just like, I, OK, like it's just weird. Um, yeah. And then Chris is like even there and he's kind of just like, yeah, this guy is like a fucking weirdo. Like and, and we kind of just like do our thing. And then he kind of follows around like us and is just still like doing that which was just it's weird because the venue was small i don't know if you guys know the hard luck like i'm um, in toronto it's like this small bar basically it's a little bigger okay, than yeah, sneaky d's yeah, yeah 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 and it's just it's just awkward because he just it was super out of his mind and then he kept being like dude yeah i'm so fucking drunk and i'm like yeah you should go cool, away man <laughs> and we yeah we were kind of like yeah like thanks dude bye and he would just like stand, he would just then stand there and like just hover oh he, he was hovering. one of the lingerers he was a hoverer bro yes and it was yeah. not fun. And then he would just randomly keep blurting out like like act like racist D things. <laughs> like just like over there behind you, like Asian Yeah. <laughs> like fucking Yes. Actually shouted some of the time. He's like <clears throat> short circuiting back there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, Somebody spilt a drink on him. Yeah. So that was it was just weird. I wasn't like I don't know if I lose Lebo, I was just like I, that, what a fucking weirdo. Yeah, um, no, that is that really and odd. the guy who stole my number and sold it to fucking I, yeah. I don't know. The air duck cleaners. The air duck cleaners. He put it on <laughs> he put it on R slash HVAC. Yeah, he put it on the HVAC yeah. Reddit. <laughs> Met this sucker tonight. Go suggest him sell to this guy. <laughs> What an <laughs> idiot! <This> sucker. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, it's the same number, so like, fucking. Dude, you never even changed it. One of our, uh, one of our buddies. I'm not gonna say who, because you can probably still Google it. But he, uh, he accidentally leaked his number, and he was getting a shit ton of phone calls and stuff like that. Hmm. All he did was tweet that, guys, I changed my number, so stop calling the old one. Didn't actually change his number. Hasn't gone phone call since. Wow. Just, everyone just wow. stopped. Wow. Yeah. Big brain. Literally, all he did was tweet that he changed his number, and everyone's like, yeah, okay, believe it. That's Nobody's awesome. tried calling. Oh, so We have a friend in this call who gave his phone number <laughs> out to somebody over Rainbow hey, Six Siege. Hey, hey, he did do that. He did yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah McNasty's kind of an idiot. <laughs> yeah, you are, not a, you are not a smart man.
<laughs> yeah, I always, I always feel kind of bad when like fans do catch like you off guard though, because I always I don't I don't and the last thing I ever want to do is like come across as a dick. To yeah. Fans. Yeah. And like the it's only it's happened like you once. Expect a Reddit to pop up. And yeah. Like, oh, I met this guy. Yeah. Oh, I met Barton and he was a fucking asshole or like something like. Well, that. not even just that. Yeah. Like I would I would want someone that I like enjoy watching to be nice. Be nice. And, yeah. And, you'd, yeah. You'd want like, them to be cool like they are. You know, on the on the internet, you'd want them to be portrayed. You know what they are doing. I made my own like, hate thread to avoid that. Yeah. Oh yeah. You yeah. Just, Talk shit about yourself? What I do. You do I went fuck our metalcore. Um, I went on r slash metalcore, and you know they would shit talk and all that stuff. And this guy's an Asian as, girlfriend, as they do. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that guy's the mod for r slash metalcore. Yeah, and I straight up went on there and I took all of the things and made them better. Because again, it's like I, I don't know about you guys, but like the haters are like, it's very rare you'll find a good one that actually makes you laugh. You know what I mean? Like that actually, you could tell yeah. they like put effort into it and you're like okay yeah. i respect the grind the hustle to <laughs> yeah, fucking hate yeah. me yeah. right like yeah. you really fucking hate me like i can tell you have put work into that yeah like a and powerpoint I, yeah i at least respect that because it's like okay like you took time and it's funny because it's just so like crazy and i'm like all right so i'm gonna take all the craziest shit um go even harder and just post that on our metal core and, and i did and and people were confused <laughs> For a you while, like seventeen thousand upvotes. <laughs> yeah, it, it was the most upvoted thing on R slash Metalcore can't, last you guys year. Canceled, <laughs> which was super career funny. over. Um, that is actually fucking funny. Yeah, because I was like, look, if you're gonna shit on me, like, because I mean, I mean, you guys fucking do content too. I'm content creators shit yeah. on themselves more than anyone else shits on them. <clears throat> oh yeah, I mean, right. oh, you're yeah. not I saying anything. My, I don't say yeah. myself in the mirror. I, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's like I hate myself more than anybody else could ever hate me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So it can get wild, but yeah, fuck Reddit. <laughs> also, yeah, Reddit's yeah, Reddit's, a, Reddit's a fucking rich. wild place. But everyone's it's, so smart on there. Definitely smarter than us and you no. and everyone else. Twitter's a good. There time are good too. sides of Reddit. There's just a lot of bad sides. Like yeah. Twitter. Well, yeah, Twitter I mean, it's, it's just areas. when you have like when you have that many brains and you know no faces to them, especially like hmm. yeah. when you have full you know privacy of the internet, you're gonna just gonna say whatever the fuck you want, even if it's like some outlandish bullshit, like. Dude, I love going through the like the goons comment section is fucking hilarious. Yeah, like the amount of times is. people just blatantly make something up about one of the members and then just roll with it and like double down and defend when people like call them out. It's just so funny. <laughs> it's so yep. bizarre yeah, people, that like people love creating drama. Yeah, one of us so will be like tired funny. on the podcast and they'll be like, you know what? I've noticed lately that uh, the do is it's just over. Been quiet. <laughs> it's all, all over. <laughs> must there's definitely them. tension within the group, and you know, you know, just in the, and then you get like eight other people to comment on it. It's just like, yeah, dude. I was just tired. Like, yeah. how many times do you guys have like when you know McNasty and like the do like people say like, oh, I know who they are, and they have no fucking clue who you guys are, and they oh, just keep oh, saying that shit. Dude oh, gets all the time, insane. bro. Insane. Really? What is the one the dude everyone yeah. thinks you are? Do Eric uh, something? Some like some Eric fucking, Calderon. Like, he's thirty something year old tattooed guy with long black hair, and everyone's like, that is the do. Those, I see the tattoos be right him. there and on his yeah. arm. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. flashbang yeah. you. But. I get DMs of people who, uh, I'll get like an Instagram DM. They'll be like, "Oh, is this you?" And it'll just be some random guy's Instagram. I'm like, "Yeah, no, yeah, th no there's not me." There are times where I'll just like leak a random white, pasty white dude in my Discord. Be like, "Hey guys, I'm just face revealing, just to just to like throw people off and <laughs> just to troll a little bit." But uh, yeah, um, what's his YouTube name? Three three E Rock three three one. Yeah, that's the guy. That's the guy that everyone thinks I am because we're both oh. named Eric. Uh, so everybody well, thinks you, that uh, I'm pretty have... sure if you Google the dude's name, I'm pretty sure that's what pops up too. Wow. Right, Eric Calderon. Yeah. So so yeah. a lot of times, um, and I've DM'd him about this. Like, I'll be sent a contract for like Raid Shadow Legends, and they're like, "Please sign here, Eric Calderon." So I'm getting contracts for <laughs> other YouTubers and stuff. <laughs> You're just sort of signing everything for him. <laughs> so you still do YouTube? Sign Send him up for shit. Sponsor money. To He's got him. like nine lawsuits going to <laughs> unfulfilled contracts. He's <laughs> sued for damages with eight companies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you guys had anyone that's like ever close where you're like, oh shit? Like, you, even if they were kind of guessing, you're like, yeah, there have been a couple of people who were right. Oh fuck! Oh damn! damn. Yeah, I've, people I've found like your little, Facebook or something. I've had a couple. No, I don't. I don't have any social media, but there have been a couple times where I've leaked a little bit of information, and somebody was able to. They're like one person they were able to find, and I was like, I just oh, don't that's... even reply to it. Yeah, because if I don't yeah, confirm man. it, then it's not. Then it's not. Uh, <laughs> You know, against me. I think I think my favorite <clears throat> that I've ever gotten is like obviously my face and my name are out there, right. but some some guy, dude, for like 
at least six or seven months straight, every single morning without fail, I'd wake up from an email from this guy that would just be a random address in Windsor area saying, I found your house. And he would literally <laughs> just funny. put a random address to like the city, the city like area that I'm in or that he thinks I'm in. And it's so funny. Just every day I'd check out the address and like see if he's getting hot, hotter or colder. It's like the closest he got was still like 25 minutes away from me. And I didn't have the heart to tell him he was getting a little closer. I thought I'd just let him see if he makes his way there. But it was just so like funny. throwing a dart at a board. Yeah, every literally day. Yeah. <laughs> just like gotta just a, be map a big wizards. map gotta of be. this area and just fucking throwing <laughs> darts. Like this has got to be his address. It's just this empty like acre in the middle of the forest. <laughs> you live here. I know it. <laughs> It's like a national park. <laughs> it's like a Walmart. A go- yeah. it's like a g- government building. <laughs> yeah, people yeah. are so fucking goofy with that shit, though. <clears throat> I don't know why people like feel the need to try to guess it. Like, it know amazes everything me how much they just want to know. Time. It's like information. It's like people hate not knowing information about yeah. people they yeah. watch. It's, it's like, dude, just enjoy the content and then that's it. I, honestly, I wouldn't even care if if people necessarily knew, but it's the fact that there's. You never know who's the weirdo that's yeah. going to show up to your house with a sword and slice your foreskin yep. off. So that's why you got to be careful. So yeah, it only comes for the foreskin. Yeah, they only. Yeah. That's all they want. They're selfish. <laughs> Men only want one thing, and it's disgusting. I want to circumcise all YouTubers. That's my mission. That's fair. <laughs> that is a just holy like a Jewish mission. priest, just on like a mission. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Because yeah. Yeah, 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 even uh, it's super like no one knows your guys, I guess, actual names either, right? Oh, no, no people, names people, uh, yeah, people know my name and stuff, okay. but hopefully doing, that's all. Doing they only know me and Dude's yeah. first name. Yeah, because I was actually thinking Eric. about uh, thinking about making like a surname for the for my band because I just don't. Oh yeah, a pseudonym. I just don't. Uh, I mean, obviously, <laughs> I'm going to keep my first name. I'm not going to be like. John like Sammy Smiles be, or something be, stupid. Be John Eric. <laughs> yeah, just make it my last just name. <laughs> call yourself Nikki Six. Yeah. <laughs> I am Ronnie Radke from now on. That is me. Right? No, I don't uh, think you want to be. You don't want to yeah. be that. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> You'll get tweeted tweeted at very quickly. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. McNasty's <clears throat> a little Ronnie Radke fangirl for some reason. He's fun. I, I mean, to an extent. To an extent. It's okay he's, sometimes. And he replies to not. way too many people. It's like just. Ignore them. Like you were number one on the rock charts. You do not need to reply to John Smith one four nine two on Twitter calling you a loser. Yeah, I, I, Ron I says that a lot too. I enjoy it. I enjoy reading it. It's very very entertaining. Yeah, it, and it then is. He, it's good. He, he does the same thing on TikTok too. Yeah, it's like. I mean, he gets like, like him and Franz. I like, probably are in the metal scene the most like Twitter oh, shit, Twitter yeah. added people. Franz like, gets just gets shit, shit on. on. Dude, I yeah, I had I had fucking much, Franz but... on my show, and he told me he had this dude named Olog who message who sends him an email every day of how much he fucking hates Franz. <laughs> really? Every oh, day, shit. apparently, at the same time, like he hates Franz it's... that much. Dude, that doesn't that's Ronnie like... and Franz have like they hate each other? They don't like each other? They probably love each other though. I think secretly. I feel like I mean, I've seen I feel beef like between be them easy too. Beef. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. fucking half the people think there's beef between us, McNasty. Yeah. Because I, I call you a big fucking dumbass half the time we talk. Yeah, and yeah, I called I you at a. Yeah, the metal scene like eats it up very easily, like the whole <laughs> drama shit, and a lot of the like. I mean, it's just I'm sure just fake too. It's just like, hey, new stuff's yeah. coming out. Like, let's just start shit. I want someone to start shit with. To be honest, it's been too fucking boring. We, we can have we can have beef in the. We can do podcast. it right now. Let's, let's go, dude. Let's fuck, start, you fuck you. You fuck right. you, you <laughs> lact- lactose intolerant <laughs> fucker. All right, we're done. We're good. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's about it. Okay. Now someone clip that. And put it on r slash death metal or wherever. Yep. Yeah. And uh, get it number one trending. Yeah. <laughs> so you sound like my, my grandma trying to say just <laughs> random internet terms. Like, <laughs> 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 get Reddit trending. Go get Reddit trending right now. Now put that one on PlayStation Network. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> Goofy ass. I remember people actually genuinely thought there's a so there's a guy that always comes on our podcast. I don't know if you know who Oompaville is, um, but every time I was not on the podcast, uh, mm-hmm. they would always have Oompa on, and there was like genuinely people 
who were trying to figure out why me and Oompa had beef. They would like, they were looking for like our first interaction on Twitter and like shit like that. Like, <laughs> dude, Jeez. it was just insane. People like actually want beef yeah. about everything. It doesn't matter the community. Like I'm sure metalcore, fucking gaming, YouTube, anything. People want there to be some sort of like animosity between creators. And I don't, <laughs> I, don't I, I feel understand like why. a lot of it has to do. I feel like a lot of it has to do with the fact that we're a group too. Like a lot of, I think a lot of past YouTuber like gaming groups have had some kind of drama, at least with like one or two people. <laughs> people we just don't really, respect it. We don't really have that. And even if we did, it wouldn't be a public thing. So it's like people just want to create their own. Sh they're like, man, I really hope that one of them like does something fucked. And people just want drama. I don't know. It's weird. Have you ever actually had like any like sort of real internet beef, Nick? Or have no, you always man. Because kind of, I feel like you've always been pretty like, you yeah. know under the the radar in terms of that where you've just kind of done your own thing and stayed in your lane yeah i mean i i just just fucking I, a lot of my content too is just me doing my own thing and then if i do collab and it doesn't work out like i, I don't i just don't even want to waste more time like fu fucking dealing with the yeah. person so i'm just like okay thanks bye you know like i don't see there's your problem you got to start tweeting about how shit they are i do and then yeah <laughs> you will be like i reacted well, to this video and it was terrible this band sucks and stinky, stinky yeah band. and stinky Make sure you have you ever it. had an artist like that you reacted to like like come negatively towards you ask alexandria hates me oh that really is why not surprising at all yeah um so they released like that the like i think it was two albums ago the violence or something and i did a reaction and oh. i was like this is i i again i'm like i'm decently nice because it's like if i think a song's kind of shitty like i'll just be like eh, it's <laughs> like whatever yeah. like i'm not gonna go in i kind of went in on that one um and i was like this is bad objective the old vocalist is better that replaced this guy for like one album dennis um yeah and um i said like one of the band members names wrong and that's that's the weird thing they could have made fun of so many things but they decided to blast on their <laughs> socials <laughs> mispronunciation me making me uh mispronouncing one of the band members names which was oh kind of God. weird was it dennis because his last name's fucking insane yeah, it's like no, 26 no, different vowels. He wasn't in, in there. the band anymore. He wasn't in the band anymore. Oh, that was after they got rid of Dennis, and that's when they brought back Danny. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Which I, I, I yeah. think is a dope vocalist, but I was kind of like, why are they doing this like chill stuff? I thought the whole point is they were like mad and doing heavy fun shit, you know, like asking yeah. Alexandria stuff. So I was like complaining about that. I was like, like the stuff they did with Dennis. Um, and yeah, so they, 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 they made like a, they blasted me a bit on their socials, uh, kind of just making fun of that. And I was like. You could have made fun of so many things. Like, I'm cringe as yeah, fuck, dude. You made so fun of weird. me saying one of your band members' names wrong. Um, and then I think Danny's wife at the time also tweeted at me. Or no, didn't tweet at me, but tweeted. And then someone in the comments added me and then deleted it, but I saw the at first. And she was just like, you know, kind of like, who's this? This guy's just a random kind of fucking nobody um, talking, you know, shit basically about the band. Hey, well, look at him like, now. He's on the Goons podcast, bitch. <laughs> yeah, baby. And, well, I, the funny thing about that which okay it's not it's not really that funny i mean i mean they they got divorced which that sucks when that happens oh, but she's <laughs> dating <laughs> Killian, man. Get oh man fuck. Uh, I, I wasn't ready for that curveball i'm sorry you <laughs> caused a divorce uh, no i didn't cause it well yeah they, 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 they see, i think they broke up mispronouncing a band member's name caused a whole divorce god you have so much power dude that's no, insane. That was not, I'm this, scared of you now. See, this dude, is what they're God, gonna dude. fucking put on Reddit now. No, that's that did not <laughs> that did not lead to that. I'm saying like years later, I think they divorced, and I how I knew is because I would follow Tillian and the whole dance Gavin dance stuff is fun. Yeah. And I saw I was like, mm -hmm. who's that person that Tillian's posting with? And I'm like, there's no fucking way. I was like, oh yeah, that's 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 Eddie's like, oh my God. And I'm like, oh, just like, damn man, that's fucking weird. Um, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I I'm chill with them. I I but I do not think they like me at all. Well, uh, have you interacted with them since then? Like the last like two years? Because you said that was what like two years ago. That was like three years ago. No, I haven't. Interacted oh damn! With I'm them, sure so. they've dropped it by now. Then yeah. probably. Yeah, now now they won't. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, I'd I'd have them on the show any day and shoot the shit if their new stuff's like good, you know, and yeah. fun. Um, but I yeah, I don't probably know. not now. <laughs> no, no, I haven't. I, I had a lot of these old. <clears throat> Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Oh, 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 sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I hate how when, like a lot of uh, sometimes I wouldn't say a lot, but sometimes like older like metalcore bands will try and become like they'll try and make music that they can get on the radio, like rock radio. Yeah, they'll become like kind of butt rock in a way. 
Yeah, well, oh, yeah, they went yeah, they went pretty yeah. butt rock. There's a lot of bands that like throw in the word evolve, but they don't actually they don't evolve. They just change. You know, they're just something yeah. else, and it's kind of weird. Um, but, you know, because it's like, well, you have this fan base <clears throat> that you've built in this specific style, which sure you can't do the same album ten times in a row. It's boring as fuck. But you gotta actually grow that style, introduce new influences within it. You know, right. and build instead of just destroy the whole tower and start with something new. Um, but yeah, I, that's why there's I like a million core it, genres because there's just so many different ways you can, mm-hmm. you know. Make oh, dude, music. especially now with modern metal, like me- metal, metalcore is not even a genre anymore because there, there's like deathcore in it. There's fucking thaw. There's there's yeah. shoegaze in it. Like everything's in it nowadays. That it doesn't. It's just I just call it all modern metal at, at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like metal is kind of uh, becoming like po- more popular again. Like I feel like it kind of like died for a while, but now it's like especially with shit like Sleep Token. Yeah, and, Sleep uh, Token, Modern Bring Me the Horizon, still pulling in a shit ton. Oh, yeah. I'm like, they're a really good, like, entry band where they have a lot of stuff that's, like, super easy for, like, you know, people who like hip-hop, R&B, and stuff like that, and it, like, moves into the more, you know, metal stuff. They have, you know, songs like Dear Diary and shit on their last album. Yeah, Sleep Token as well. Mm. They're, Sleep Token's so dope. They're, I know yeah, you, uh, so you covered their the little, like, four-song EP thing that they put out, and, like, you, like, described it perfectly. Everyone's trying to figure out, like, how they popped off. Like, I saw r slash Metalcore in, like, fucking shambles. Trying Dude. to figure out, like, what's yeah. happening with Sleep Token. Like, like you brought it up saying, people are saying industry plant as if fucking, <laughs> like, Metalcore execs are like, we yeah. need to pay millions <laughs> to get these guys in here. Like, they just make good music. It's, it's like, they yeah. approach so many genres. Too, huh? Yeah. yeah. Mm, they, and yeah. I'm sure they've been in, like, I don't know who the members right? are. I mean, there's, like, you can go on YouTube and probably, yeah. like, kind of They're, figure. You can yeah. find their names, but come on. You, you can kind of find it, yeah, <laughs> exactly. And I've been linked to the drummer fucking 50,000 times on Instagram. Thank you. Um, yes, I, I know who the drummer is now. Um, but in the sense of just, like, yeah, it, it is shocking. They go from 300,000 monthly to 1.8 million. Like, that's in a yeah. month. What? That's, that's good for, like, a metal. Damn. Dude, that's, that's good like for anybody. Like, that's, that's, that's crazy. That's insane. Yeah. That's ridiculous for a metal band and incredible just good yeah for in general music so Mm -hmm. i was like i want to look at i'm like well what's kind of going on here um and it's just you know they released this they had this weird release schedule of like a single thursday friday and then next week thursday friday no music videos they're on tour and just making good stuff and one of the songs is more of a sexy seductive pull your pants down song yeah. Um, was it yeah, that, that about? La- it's yeah, the last minute and a half um, is just yeah. yeah. It's it's yeah. There was a lot of tweets I saw. Like I would see women being like, "I need to fuck to this song," and I'm like, "Yeah, I, I pull out my." That's how I found out Sleep Token even existed. Even I, Dude, have you went down the Sleep Token TikTok? Holy oh, not, oh god, McNasty, that's gonna be your fucking thing. It's all e, e- girls with big titties. <laughs> <It's>, that's all <laughs> you. <baby. laughs> I mean, that's pretty much what it is on Twitter too. So it's, yeah, it's uh, it's just thirst traps. It's that's basically it. It's yeah. nonstop. That's a good track. like as a band though. I feel like that's a, hmm. like if you can get women into yes. your music, then two. it's like definitely. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. On Fiverr, I saw you can hire some two girls to do like immediately whips out his phone. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Yeah. <laughs> on uh, on Fiverr, you can like I saw when I was trying to look for my music videos and shit, just being weird on Fiverr. I saw there's like girls that will like do like dance videos for like thirty bucks and like to any song. Oh my so God. like. I'm like, bro, just like go like pay like twenty of them and yeah. just get them to post on their fucking TikTok or whatever, and you'll be oh, like, good, like that's that's fine. Yeah. I don't care. Oh, you don't they'll need post an it industry on TikTok. Plant. You can just you can just have those little thoughties do their thing. <laughs> you, you do not need an those industry little plant. thoughties. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think it's like that's the thing. I don't think it's an in, those, the number is insane. It is absolutely it makes yeah. it doesn't make a lot of sense, but you know, just if you give them a benefit of the doubt, a good amount. It does, um, you know, and a yeah. lot of marketing dollars for sure. But mm-hmm. in terms of like any kind of sketchiness, I think it's just very genre fluid song. It's fun. People can meme the ending, but it's also really good. People want to, yeah. you know, fuck the band literally. Um, so it's just the perfect. Yeah. I think it's just one of those perfect storms. But that growth is I haven't seen that in ever. <laughs> Dude, they've yeah, just like wild. they've been making songs like that forever, though. Like even the EP uh, two, I think it is. I, yeah. I forget what the songs there are. Um, they're just named after cities, I think, or something. I can't remember, but like the one song has exactly the same kind of vibes as something where it's just like right. super chill, and then like you know they do their breakdown and then back to like super chill or whatever. Like th- that they've had that style for so long. It's so weird that like summoning was just the song that blew them up because half their last album was literally the same like thing. the summoning, but without the 
sexy bass ending. <clears throat> yeah, it's like was soul there, core. Yeah. Did yeah. something happen where like, like you know how a video game can can blow up just because a big creator plays it? Like, did something happen like that with Sleep Token where somebody like probably a shit ton like of a, reaction channels? There's a lot of reactions. I know it was on. That's it. Though. It was on the top of uh, Spotify's like kick ass metal, which is how yeah. I found it because I go mm-hmm. on there occasionally and just yeah. see new releases, see who's yeah. You know, that helps and a lot. Was, like, if to get on like a really big playlist mm-hmm. and be oh, yeah. like a band, yeah, for, that for helps sure. a ton. Yeah. Costs a lot of money too. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, really to like get your band up there? It depends which of the playlists, but there's there's def there there's you know Spotify has options for buy-ons in some capacity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some of it is really? obviously algor it algor. They don't even have this. I I fucking get tilted about it all the time. They don't even have actual curators for a lot of that stuff anymore. Wait, really? It's, a lot of it's algorithmic. Really? Yeah. Um, oh, it'll get put on there like automatically. Uh, yeah, no, so it's, it's it. It, some playlists might have like a you know you know somebody and they'll kind of hook you up, but a lot of those playlists are just based on um it gets submitted and it goes through automated shit and then if it gets enough plays like first day and if it keeps getting enough plays it'll kind of like auto. Oh, that's kind of yeah, that's kind of how Stay TikTok works. Yeah, that makes me that yeah. makes me feel better because sometimes I'll go to like a metal playlist on Spotify and I'll hear a song and I'll be like, what the fuck? Like this is not yeah. Yeah. Like not metal at all. I'm like, how the hell did this get on here? It's, so, it's sad. John Lennon. It's a sad state they have the playlist in. But the playlists do pull um, because Spotify is just yeah. so big. So yeah, like getting Sleep yeah. Token on that is big. Which again, I don't know if they bought it in for that one particularly or not. But you know, there's options to buy in for some bigger playlists. Um, <laughs> so that's yeah. sick. And then yeah, reactions help. Um, and the reaction scene is its own fun. I always get thrown into being a reactor guy. And that's fine. That's all you are. Yeah. yeah, ignore I do. the I, years I of other work. I watch a lot of reaction stuff. Yeah, very, they're um, they're they're fun, but it gets uh it gets very clout chasey. Um, oh yeah, very yeah. absolutely, very quickly in that area. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I sad. imagine. Yeah, how's uh you got anything going on for like music uh, anytime soon? Like coming up or anything? Yeah, man. I mean, I'm working on um fucking Terminus stuff. So that's my project with yeah. Andy. From monuments yeah. um mm-hmm. we're still we're just finishing this album which we're kind of just doing like a modern metal jukebox there's like a fall song there's deathcore songs there's post hardcore songs uh there's like a shoegazy deftones you know go Ooh, go yeah. make out with your girlfriend song um <laughs> like that kind of shit and we're trying to get guests for every song we have every guest locked in except two so we're just trying to get that done but andy's on tour forever with his 50 bands so it just yeah is danny warsnop one of the guests <laughs> 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 I like he's that. busy with he's busy with we are harlot he's he's too busy there oh, he's looking yeah. for a new Sell wife out. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, we're, so we're trying to get that finished up uh and other than that i'm doing my nick knock trap metal shit um which yeah. is always fun as well and we're trying yeah. to do that. oh yeah i forgot that you did that yeah that was that was pretty dope i remember seeing that uh, yeah that, it's just me it's me me trap metal where i get to actually just scream um and i work with um the producer to make beats and fucking throw guitars on it's like deathcore trap um, yeah which is kind of like kind of a scar lord vibe i feel like is what i got from it like older yeah. scar lord scar lord with like heavier guitars basically. yeah yeah more more yeah more instruments implemented because he just uses <clears> a ton of fucking like just basically just 808s and nothing else happening <laughs> Just blown out 808s. 808s go hard, though, man. Yeah, they... <laughs> no, they go hard. They they get they go crazy fucking hard. Oh, yeah. But like, yeah, no, and that's the only uh, the only sound. It, it, I, I guess I can see why that would get exhausting. But yeah, yeah I don't know yeah, if it's still true. But did did you guys know that 808? Like, if you used an 808 in the song, it used to be um, they used to not put it on the radio. Really? Oh, yeah, why? because it would be what? too aggressive and might blow out pe- some people's like sound systems. So they would keep huh. like That's if you had a song hilarious. with heavy 808s, it would. <laughs> and, and now it's like every song. Yeah, now it's yeah, every right. song. Yeah. <laughs> it's well, I think it's opposite. because now like most modern cars, you know, they can they can handle some bass. Yeah. But before, I guess it would just. I don't know. Yeah, yeah in your car. 30 38 foot long Cadillac in 1980s, I guess I could see why, you know, <laughs> the with like the one inch speakers. And any, any immediately s- need an oil change. Yeah, any sound that's not, you know, or any low register sound would just fucking make it fall yeah. apart at the bolt. Cuz if you think about it like old 90s, like if you ever go listen to old 90s rap, the bass is like almost yeah, non-existent. No, it's, yeah, it's literally mm-hmm. like well, there, it is there, but it's like it's like a kick. Actually, yeah, I was gonna a, say it's yeah. like yeah, literally it sounds like a, a bass drum like, more than like yeah. It's not doom. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's no rev- <laughs> reverberating bass. It's poo, not that's, boom. That's pretty good. <laughs> I prefer dong over poo. Yeah. You go on the Wikipedia for 808, that's what it says. Poo, not dong. Fair enough. <laughs> do, we, do we want to end it on that fantastic uh, <laughs> bass <Dong>. representation? <laughs> Yeah. You would have thought with all the dubstep intros, you could have done a better bass. Yeah, no, yeah. actually, yeah, no. Hold on, give actually. us a better one. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Give us a better bass noise. I want to hear a better hear a, bass noise. Let's hear a good puh. Yep. <laughs> okay, and now a good dong. That was a. That was. <laughs> that was wait, not no. great. A do- right. oh, wait, a good dong? Yeah. Doom. I don't know. Doom. Okay, so do, do the I don't know. I can't, really, I can't really do the. Now you can you can sample those and use them in your own music, right? Yeah. Here. Perfect. That's a perfect 808. Don't, do don't say we never did nothing for you. <laughs> We've never done anything. <laughs> Copyright free. <laughs> Doom. Perfect. <laughs> Feel free to use it in your videos. All right, everyone. Uh, thank you for uh, being here. Yeah, baby. Everyone, damn. Everyone. (laughs) Holy shit. Uh, Thank you for being here. Yeah, I guess fans. All all you people, all you people people listen. Go subscribe to Nick. Go check out his videos. Uh, yeah. Go download our pod at the K's on Spotify. Mm-hmm. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, or I'm going to stick my cattle pegger up your ass. <laughs> and go use yes, Code Goons. Code Goons, code goons on, on G-Subs. G-Subs. For G-Subs. Go use Code, yeah, code goons. Goon, code goon. Or they will kill us. Yes. So they have my parents. They've they already took one of my parents. legs. <laughs> they ate my grandma raw. I'm in a wheelchair right now. You just can't tell. All oh. right. Well, see you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Sayonara.